Hey, we're here on board a Lagoon 42 in Loggerhead Marina. We are kind of not midway, kind of uh, first quarter of the project. We're doing a lithium upgrade along with uh, changing out the current solar panels to some newer, higher wattage and bifacial panels just to give them that additional power. We're going to be doing the Epic 460 amp 12 volt uh, Elite series batteries on this installation. Uh, we've been doing a number of installations using the Epic batteries recently. Simplifies the installation in some ways and a great product uh, integrates with the Victron equipment perfectly. So once again excited to get this project wrapped up and uh, have a happy customer. All right, we're here in the starboard engine room on the Lagoon 42, just taking a look at some of what's going on over here. Well, I mean, immediately right in front of you, you can see there are six MPPT solar charge controllers. These were actually all already installed on the vessel. Um, as I said, we are going to be changing the solar panels to some newer bifacial panels to give them additional wattage. So we're just going to be basically taking what is here and tying it in to our new system and make sure that it is programmed and functioning correctly with the new Epic Lithium batteries and the rest of our setup. Um, down to the back here, we have added these uh, Victron 121250 amp DC to DC converters. These are going to be taking the alternator's excess charge and basically pulling that from the start battery and sending it to the Epic Lithium batteries. So we're going to be doing two, two on starboard, two on port, giving them a total of potentially 200 amps of power coming from the alternators when they are running the motors. One other thing that we've done here in the starboard engine room and yeah, space-wise, we were wondering where we we're going to fit this, but it actually worked out perfect. We have got a, an isolation transformer over here, 3,600 watt unit. And the purpose of this is the boat is going to end up in Europe here in the next couple of years. They wanted to be able to plug into European power and still use most of the equipment on board. So this device over here is going to take that 230 in Europe and convert it to 120 volts. This is a straight 120 volt boat and allow them to use all the equipment on board, air conditioning, water heater, etc. With the limitation of at this point we've determined the washer dryer and the microwave are frequency sensitive so the owners are fully aware that when they are plugged into shore power in europe they cannot use those pieces of equipment that need to unplug and operate them through the inverter that we'll take a look at in a little bit all right we are in the starboard hull of the lagoon 42 taking a look at the location for our multi plus two uh, and you know initially we were thinking about putting it maybe in the engine room under the bed etc etc and then the owner you know recalled that there was this location over here and it actually ended up working out almost perfectly it looks like it was meant to go here so stoked that we found this specific spot for the multi plus to go you know it's going to have good airflow it's close to the distribution panel close to the batteries because the batteries are going to be under the bed over here so nice and centralized worked out great um, if we walk back this way, this is where the batteries are going to be going. Um, there was originally a Xantrax inverter installed over here. We just got it temporarily still hooked up as we kind of moving through the project. This is disappearing. The multi plus is replacing that unit over there. And this was mounted up on this back wall over here, but we needed this space for the new batteries. Um, after doing some measuring, etc., it looks like four of the epic 460 amp hour batteries are going to fit in the spot almost perfectly so we might have to use a little bit of cleats and so on but it's going to work out really great space wise one little kind of trick to this vessel was that this vessel has a diesel heating system on it as well it actually came from the pacific northwest the owners have brought the boat all the way around to the florida coast and the location of one of the diesel heating units was down in the space where the batteries are so not something we're used to working with here in Florida. So we're going to have to relocate this and we're going to be installing it a little bit further forward down in the floor. There's a PVC board there that it's going to get mounted on. Um, and then we'll have to like purge the coolant system, etc. Luckily, I lived in Washington and worked on boats for about three years. So I'm a little bit familiar with these diesel heaters. Otherwise, it would have been uh, an interesting project because down here in Florida, no one really works on these diesel heating systems. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for the project. Batteries in here, distribution in here, 
move the heater, get rid of this inverter, put our new inverter in the location we just looked at. So in the end, I think it's actually working out perfectly, the layout and the equipment's going where it needs to go and it's gonna work out great. So as I mentioned earlier, the owners had th these panels installed a number of years ago, but you know, with solar technology just improving so rapidly, you know, they've decided while they're doing this, they might as well upgrade these panels to something a little bit more, you know, powerful. Some, uh, we're gonna do some uh, 395 bifacial panels, and these I believe are only 320 watts. So we're gonna be gaining a bunch of wattage uh, and then we're going to have that additional from the bifacial, you know, reflected power from the water. And given the location of these panels, as you can see, on a sunny day, you're going to take a lot of reflected power from the water as well and gain that, that extra power. As they say bifacial panels, it varies, but they say up to 25%. So if, say, you're a 400 watt panel, you could get an additional 100 watts from the reflected power on the base of the panel.